One of the best parts of living in Minnesota is getting to enjoy the lake on a warm summer day. And that is why we are visiting cabin country all summer long to show off the best of what our state has to offer. Today's going to the lake trip takes us to Emily. That's about two and a half hours north of the Twin Cities. Chris Schaefer and Liz Collin are there today and they join us now. Hello, you guys. Hi, guys. Happy Friday to you guys. We are enjoying it. We're in Emily City Park, and this place is going to be packed tomorrow. This is the site for Emily Day. Yeah, and Emily Day dates back to 1989. That's when it was the brainchild of some business owners, and it's really been going strong ever since. Now, it is just that, Emily Day, but we did learn that they pack a lot of fun into those 24 hours. Starts from 7 to 11 in the morning. The Snowbird Snowmobile Club will have their pancake breakfast. From there, people can come into the park here. We've got food vendors set up and a craft fair going on. We've got a chainsaw carver. We've got beer gardens. We were going to have bouncy house. Thanks to the Lambert Water Wells. They're sponsoring that from 11 to 9. And also live music will be happening here at the park beginning tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Again, all happening here at Emily City Park. We've been watching vendors get set up all day long. A lot of work ahead to get this thing uh, ready to go. And also some locals have gathered behind us here. We have a, a nice crowd. Good looking crowd as always. Yes. Yeah, the folks in Emily have been wonderful. And we've had a busy day. Uh, one of the things we love to do on all of these lake trips is do the things that you, the viewers, suggest we should do in town. And we did that here in Emily. We found a place called Sweets and Such. And boy, they have got a lot of ice cream. Get some ice cream. We've earned it. Think so? Let's go. Oh, there's bourbon. Oh, look at this. That's good. Liz, you got to drive. <laughs> Sweets and such, uh, by the way, is just right on Highway 6. You can't miss it when you're coming here to Emily. And we love their story. A Twin Cities couple who was just kind of tired of the commute, and they did their thing, and they've been going strong uh, at, at that shop ever since. They figured it out. Smart folks. And we had a lot of fun today. It's been a, a jam-packed couple of days. We had to try out the local golf course, we heard. So we gave the world's largest green a try. Our putting skills we put to the test. Coming up, guys. Keyword is try. Try? Okay. Oh, in my case. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can't wait okay. to see that. All Thanks, right. guys. See you in a bit. Thank you.